In this video, we are going to look at how to set widening defaults in Civil 3D uh, offset alignment widening. Currently, in my drawing, I have this center line, its name for DCL. Then, I have two offset alignments at 10 meter offset. So, let us say we need to widen inside of this curve to a 1 meter additional offset to do that i click here the offset alignment then i go to add widening then it is asking whether i am going to create a new alignment for widening or have the same alignment so i will have the same alignment for the widening so i click no and it is asking from where to where i have to add widening so i will select start from this curve end of this curve then it is asking what is the widening offset so what i am going to do is widening one meter outside to this inner offset alignment so currently it is at a 10 meter offset if we add another one meter it would be 11 meter currently it is suggesting as 25 meters but it should be 11 meters which is 10 plus 1 meter and press enter after typing 11 so you can see now it is widened by 1 meter so we have some other parameters here you can see now it is the widening is from transitioning from 10 meter offset to 11 meter offset within 75 meter distance let us say we need to change this distance to 100 meters not 100 50 meters right so I'll type 50 here. So when I press enter, watch what happens here. The starting station. Currently it is 14868.72. If I press enter, you can see it changes because this widening shift. So what I have to do is I have to change the starting station back to this point. I have to click here and change the starting point back to this point then it will update then i have to go to the other side which is the end side and set it to 50 meters as well so in that side it won't be a problem because it is automatically getting the end point as in the correct way so now i have changed that one so that is how i added one curve widening here so i will click close then I will move on to another curve here, somewhere here, and go to add widening like earlier, and add to the same alignment, and from starting from this to this end, and widening offset is again 11 meters. And you can see it will suggest the same parameters. So let us say we want is suggesting the earlier parameters as 75 meter transition let us say we want in this case also we want 50 millimeter trans 50 meter transition so how to achieve this uh, to achieve this you need to set the widening default so i will close this one so currently i have added two widenings so to set up the default i will go to settings tab settings tab in my prospector then you have the settings tab in tool space then go to alignments click alignment drop down then go to commands and click the command drop down and you have add widening here right click there and go to edit commands then you have widening options here click that one then you can set what kind of widening you have to set whether it is curve line curve or those parameters you can set currently i am setting for linear parameters now here you can say set what is the uh, transition length default transition length so if you are going to do with the taper ratio you can set the default rate taper ratio as well so it is depending on your uh, requirement then here also it can you can add the default uh, widening 
offset so currently it is suggesting as 25 meter as you can if you as you remember if you can remember it is suggested that 25 meter as default widening when we are prompting for the widening offset so in this case also if you have always if you have to use always 11 meter as widening offset let me can type 11 meters it depending it depends on your requirement so i click ok here and i have i have set the widening defaults so let us say we delete these two now we will recreate them so i am going to recreate the offsets with 10 meter uh, 10 meter offsets and i have set the styles and set no labels and click ok now let us see what happens when you are going to add the widening so i go here and go to add widening add to the current alignment and start from here and then move up to here then it is automatically suggesting my offset value i press enter to accept that one if you need a separate value you can type here then it will automatically give you the offset values unlike earlier now it will automatically give you the transition length values as 50 meters so now with this way you can very easily do the widening if you have common transition length and common offsets so if you still if you want to change these parameters you can change but from here but if you have uh, more common parameters you can use this type of uh, settings and uh, set the defaults from here to get uh, the widening values and widening transitions with a more easier way so that is about how to set widening defaults in civil 3d offset alignments